Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. And I'm Jo. And together we wrote the book Creature Camp. Creature Camp is going to teach you to make your very own stuffed animals and it's also going to teach you how to use a sewing machine. So it really is designed absolutely for beginners. If you've never sewn even a single stitch on a sewing machine before, you're going to be okay with this book because it takes you through everything that you need to know. But today we're going to show you a couple of steps to get familiar with machine, your machine and a really fun project that you can do with all of your practice pieces. So here's, here's the machine and you're going to put the fabric under the presser foot, which is this, and you push it and you, there's, there's normally like a little lever back there. You push down and it puts it down. So this is what's called quarter of an inch, it lines up with the edge. That's a very easy way to stitch. So there's a, there's a pedal at the bottom which you push with your foot and you start and you, it goes through on its own, no hands, but you are the one doing all the steering. So you just kind of guide it along. It doesn't really need much steering at all. But this is just the straight stitch and you just have to line it up with that edge and you'll be good. And once you reach the end, you can just run right off, pick, pick it up the presser foot with the lever, just turn the fabric around, and you might want to line it up with quarter of an inch again on that, so that it makes a nice distance between the two. So next I'll be doing little curvy lines, and don't worry if it overlaps, that just gives a cool effect. So you'll want to start out with straight stitch, but then you'll want to turn the fabric in weird ways. To make weird curves. Whee! Just just I'm just trying to keep it in one area, but as you saw before on my green one, it just kind of went all over the place. Whee! And don't be discouraged if you have to go really slow at first. I went very, very very slow when I started. And again, you can just run right off the edge. And then again, try and line it up kind of quarter of an inch. It's harder when it's curvy. But we'll have lots of curvy lines. But now we're going to do um, squares. And squares are very, very different. Like, not squares, but boxes, sort of. And so you want to start out like you normally do, but then you stop. And there's a knob normally on the side, and you turn it so that only barely, so that the needle should be down. It's manually stitching. So you want it so that the needle is down. You pick up the presser foot, and you turn it like that. And then you keep on stitching, and you have made a turn. And you'll want to do that a couple times. So, I find this really fun to do, because you just, you can make all sorts of weird geometric shapes with it. Like you can, you can go over it over and over, and make them overlap, and make little tiny rectangles inside of the big ones. And it looks really cool. Let's see. You can make them huge. You can go all the way out to the edge of the fabric, even. Put it down. And it's okay if your lines are a bit curvy, too. Because then, as you can see, I, it goes from like small to big. And then I can make it go small again. You might want to do this for a whole snake, even. Practice your turning, because you'll use that later on if you ever want to make, if you ever want to stitch around something, like around a very sharp turn, that's what you'll do. And I'll probably do one last little box, one last little turn. Mm -hmm. Go right off 
presser foot. And now, my favorite part. The crazy stitches. So, what I'm going to try and do right now is the, is the beehive. And that, it looks like a beehive, and it says number 16 beside it. Now, there will usually be like a little button console here. And up here, the screen will show you what number you've put in. Right now, it's one, which is straight stitch. Um, so right now, we're going to put in 16. So you want to press 1, 6. Relatively fast. Because you don't want it to go 1. And then when you press 6, it goes to 6, not 16. So then, all you have to really do is press down, and it'll do it on its own. But you still have to guide it as it goes. But it'll do it all on its own. It's like the buttonhole. It'll just do that all on its own. So, if you, like, there, it'll come out behind. It won't look exactly like the picture, but it'll look pretty close. And when I, I first experimented with these, I was like, whoa, how does that work? But it's really fun. You can try out all sorts of ones, all sorts of different stitches. And you can even overlap them. Whee! And as you can see, we're kind of going over some of our other stitches. That's fine. But I also want to show you another stitch, which is going to be really cool. So, I'm actually going to stop here. I want to see what it looks like when I blend them together. So, right now I'm going to use one of my favorites, the maple leaves, which is number 24. So, I'm going to press in 24, and then you can just start stitching again. And this one takes a little longer for it to do. So... Just be wary, it'll take you a little longer. And I might show you a couple more, so I'm not just doing this the whole time. There's also a different leaf stitch where it looks like a little vine going up with different leaves. And I like that one. So that one's number 21. And I'm going to start that. Now, the numbers may not be exactly the same for yours, but... Let's see. And it just kind of goes and makes a little line. So, this is what, this is what um, we're going to be making next. We just basically pile on all the loose threads and ends that we've got before onto a piece of fabric, on the top of a piece of snake fabric, and we basically sew down the length of them. Um, quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way from your stitches, and then you go across so that it stays on extra well. This is what it's supposed to kind of look like before it's stitched. And you will just start stitching at quarter of an inch seam allowance. Whoa. And I still had it on a weird, crazy stitch. But, so it's going to start out looking like a vine. But, yeah, this is all you really do. Down the length of it a couple times. And then... You'll go down at a different time, and, and then all the way down it. And you can even do crazy stitches, but I would recommend doing straight stitches first. But then you want to go a quarter of an inch on your own stitches. Oh. And that is how you sew all of these all of these threads onto a piece of fabric.
So, Joe just showed you how to practice your straight stitching, how to practice turning corners, how to practice wavy lines. She also showed you how to do some of the really fun decorative stitches and how to do this really cool technique where you just slap down all of your scraps of thread and sew them down for a really neat texture. Now, there's gonna be a PDF of a pattern to, um, to use to turn all of those pieces of fabric that you just made into those fun snakes. So that's a free pattern. There's a download in the description and it'll be in the blog post that goes with this video. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. And I'm Joe. And we'll see you next time.